Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. Today's video is going to be my monthly plan with me. We are planning out the month of August, and the very first thing that I like to do is actually pull out all of the months out of my planners and replace them in my Franken planner. So we're gonna start off with my life planner. I just added in the month of August, and then we're gonna flip to the next section, which is my business planner. Now my business planner was in the classic size, but I did decide to go back to the bigger size for the month of August because I did miss the space. So I've just added that in and then we're going to flip to my personal section. The month of August was already in there so we're going to move on to my budget planner. Pulling out the month of August in my budget planner and I am just going to take out July and replace it with August. Now by the time you see this video, I will already have completed my monthly budget with me. So if you missed that video, I will link it above. The next section that I'm going to flip to is my faith planner, taking out the month of July and replacing it with the month of August. I'm hoping that I am going to do better with my faith planner this month. I did slack off in the month of July because of the amount of travel that we did, but I'm hoping to get back into it for the month of August. And then the last one, that I'm going to replace is my commonplace planner. So I'm just going to pull this one out and replace it with the month of July. And now all of the months are in my planner. So now that my planner is fully set up and ready for the month of August, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually set up my life planner. So I just went into my future dated section, pull out the pre-planning calendar that I had for the month of August and we're going to use that to actually fill out the month of August completely. Going to pull out this sticker book. This sticker book is from Recollections and I got it from Michaels and I'm going to use this to decorate and just add in a few stickers. With this spread, I don't add in a lot of stickers, but I do like to add them here and there just so my spreads can look a little bit different from month to month. So we're going to start off by adding the month at the very top and then we're going to add in all of my important dates. Now August is a pretty busy month. I do have the first day of school. We have a trip coming up in the month of August and the biggest thing that's coming back is my Monday classes. So if you are new around here, this is your first time ever being on my channel. I do have free classes every single Monday. They used to be called Money Monday, but now they will be Monday motivation classes all around organization. So we talk about life organization, time management, um, money planning, anything that is planning and organization related. We have classes every single Monday. They are absolutely free and they are one hour. So if you are interested in joining me in one of those classes, make sure that you check out the description box below. I will have a link there where you can sign up for my email list, sign up for the classes, and then that way you always get all of the information around the classes. Now I am just filling out out the other areas of my planner. I have some goals that I would like to accomplish in the month of August. So I've just added them there. And then I'm also going to add in my currently section. So this is just what's currently going on in my life. It kind of serves as a, like a memory area where I am able to just look back on what I was watching, what I was reading, what I'm currently planning, so on and so forth. The next thing that I'm going to do is flip over to my monthly section. On the monthly section of my planner is where I can see an overview of my entire month. So we're going to start off by dating all of my boxes. I just added the month at the very top and then we're just going to add in all of the numbers. Sometimes I will use date dots in this section. but for the most part, usually I will not use date dots. I will just write them in myself. I just find that it's much, much faster and easier for me to do it this way. After I have added in all of my dates, the very next thing that I'm going to do is look at my future dated calendar where I have pre-planned everything for the entire month and transfer all of that information 
from that pre-planned calendar into my monthly planner. I will also be looking at my phone at this time because usually I will put things either on my monthly calendar in my future dated section or in my Google calendar on my phone. So then that way I'm able to always have any information that I may need to plan for the next upcoming month. I am still using that same sticker book that I have from Recollections that I purchased from Michaels and I'm just using the small sticker icons from that sticker book in order to give my spread a little bit of decoration. Now I'm not using many big stickers in this spread and it's mainly because like I said this is a pretty busy month and whenever I have a super busy month I have a lot going on. I don't like to use a lot of stickers on my spread because I feel like I really need the white space and I wanted to decorate but I didn't want to add too many stickers and when I want to do either or I will just kind of cut and split the difference and just add really small stickers and so that's all I'm going to use on this spread is the small little sticker icons so then that way I still have a little decoration while I still am able to have a bunch of white space. And this is basically all that I do to set up my entire month. I know that there is not a lot to my process, but I really, really like to keep it simple, give myself a lot of space, so then that way I have plenty of space to write down anything that I need for this month. So guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I hope that you have already set up your month of August. Let me know if you have any changes to your spread in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.